holy cannoli it's just a little frosty out well good morning everybody happy sunday it's november 20th i'm about to go take a walk around and kind of see how everything's doing figure i bring you along and do a weekly update but we should probably get on with it before joey comes out and yells at me for not wearing a coat <laughs> time for some fall cleanup so I've been kind of picking things up and I need to organize and throw things out garlic is doing good I really need to pull out those four squares in the middle so I can plant stuff the eggplants in the back are definitely done um, that hole in the third spot is where I was growing the little dwarf tomatoes that I moved inside the greenhouse so I can plant stuff there and there's actually one, two, and the third one there. There's like three other empty squares. So I will have three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten squares that I can use out here. And actually, I do have more garlic. So I wonder if I could, uh, nah, I'll put garlic in pots. That way I can put other stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I'll use those. Oh, goodness. Well, yeah, last time I saw that, that was full of water. It looks like something kind of uh, dug through that. And they couldn't find any buried treasure like they hoped. Oh, uh, well. Helped me clear out a pot. Then looks like they tried to climb up here. And broke my poor cherry branches. Maybe it'll recover. This guy is a multi-grafted cherry, so there's like Lepin, Stella, Black Tartan, and something definitely tried to bite the tag. That's so funny. And Montmorency. I'm kind of fascinated by grafted stuff, so that's what I got. Oh my gosh! off from right there. Something tried to hang from it. Well, darn. That's a variety I lost unless that somehow grows back. Bummer. But this one has that variety, that variety, and that variety. And it's still a young tree, so um, we did get some flowering and some little fruits but it'll probably be I don't know maybe next year before I get a bit of a harvest oh, blueberries all right blueberries are just so resilient look how frozen that is so weird. Weird but neat. Mother Nature is pretty amazing. So glad that Joey finished making me this frame thing that's layered with like four layers of plastic just as like an extra border along the outside of the greenhouse. Check that out, that's so cool. It's like solid. Poor marigolds. I am definitely going to focus on more flowers this year though. All these pots had flowers in them and I planted them in August and so they actually bloomed for a bit in October and it was kind of nice to have color in my yard even though I didn't have any other garden this year because I was just, life happened and I was busy and I did not have a spring summer garden this year. That's why I'm trying to do a bit of winter gardening because, you know, I didn't want to miss out. <laughs> Oof, burr. Ooh. Excuse the mess in here. It's kind of turned into a storage space. 
but this was the unheated greenhouse I used for the last previous years before I got my new polytunnel type greenhouse. And I did actually keep all my citrus in here um, with no heat other than some terracotta pot thingamajigs. So this big one would hold five tea light candles inside. So they would all just kind of sit at the bottom and then heat would radiate from the terracotta pot. And oh my gosh, that thing is so cold. But um, oh, I'm doing this just for you guys. But this is where it would hang from the ceiling and it would just radiate heat in here. And then I had one that kind of sat here on the ground and I had a smaller hanging one as well. But yeah, literally that was all I used to heat this little greenhouse um, for the last two years. Well, I guess technically not last year because last year is the one where I failed and just neglected everything in here. But um, the first year, it totally just kept all my citrus and my figs and everything just hunky-dory. So, which I should probably set those up again because my figs are in here. This one is a Stella, and it was a teeny, weeny, little, little thing, and now it is as big as me. But I'm probably gonna notch it next year so that I have some branching along um, its long trunk. These guys, all of them, basically died back you know because the citrus died and these guys pretty much died too and so this was like the original plant and these ones are all the new ones this year that popped up so I'm really happy those came back that's a white Marseille this one was the Olympian and so Actually, the original one kind of died back, but it looks like it kind of grew and then also new ones came up, so I will probably try to separate those guys out in the fall, or I mean in the spring, <laughs> you know what I mean. And then this one over here, um, one of my co-workers at work actually gave me a gift card to a store, can't remember the name of the store now, but this is the Desert King that I was able to pick up. And it was a little guy and it lost all its leaves and things, but it did not die back. It is a trooper. And so, yeah. Over here, I just happen to have a pink lemonade blueberry in here. And if you're wondering why it's in here and not outside with the rest of my blueberries, it just seemed like it was a more delicate variety because the two that I had previously and the pink lemon, Pink Lemonade is the only variety that I had a pair of because they were just really yummy pink blueberries. Um, both of those died last year, so I am keeping this one in here just in case. Because um, it just seemed like maybe it wasn't as hardy as um, our normal blueberry varieties. Um, oh, there's this little guy over here. Remember my candy cane peppers? I had two of them. This is one of them. So I'm kind of letting him overwinter in here. Took off all his leaves after I picked the, the meager fruit harvest that I got. There's actually another video in my playlist that you guys can see for that harvest video. There weren't very many because like I said, I didn't have a garden this year. And so anything I planted was planted out in August. So the fact that I got anything at all is pretty cool. And I used all those peppers in a yummy um, rice dish. So they were good, but I want to try them again next year where they can actually ripen all the way because then I could get a true taste test for them. But otherwise, to me, they're just like regular green peppers at the stage they were at when I picked them. Okay, let's get out of here because it's freezing. And go into the other warm space. Ooh-wee. more frozen water. Okay. And 
see, I got all kinds of things. Twerk is kind of a buffer from the lower levels. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are so pretty. That is a Yule Tide Camellia, and basically look like little roses to me in the winter time. Super pretty. Good morning, my babies. How's everybody doing? Everybody looks good. No droppers. Pretty yellow lemon. Now my Kara Kara was the one that was kind of curling up to the cold, so I bought another fleece row cover thingamajig, and I might have to put like another layer of my ceiling in here. But I do go around and check any curling leaves, just in case of insects and things. But I really feel that she's just curling up due to the cold. Blood Orange doing fine. Those guys down there doing fine, and I suspect that they're not kale. I think they're probably leaf broccoli. But you know, that's what happens when I don't uh, actually. Oh, what is the temperature in here? We are at 50 degrees in here. Look at my beautiful Brussels. Oh, the most exciting thing that has happened this last week is these wire racks. See how nice and organized I look? I feel like I am a big girl now. Well, you know, because I was losing all kinds of floor space with everything that I wanted to grow and there's so much more that I want to start seeds for, like uh, lots of spinach and things. But um, I actually went on Facebook Marketplace and met up with a gal yesterday who gave me a great deal for all three racks. And then she was super sweet and gave me some extra garden stuff as well, just because I said I was going to use them for my greenhouse. So I really love that there are kind people in the world like that. Um, anyhow, oh, holy broad beans. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess, um, yeah. I will probably up pop those today and do something about all these seedlings too. I bought a whole bunch of little um, three inch nursery pots, so. I will try to get most of those pricked out and repotted. And I actually ordered a bunch of plant labels too, so moving forward, anything I plant and seed from here on out, I will actually put labels on them. I know you guys are proud of me. And these are my newest seedlings that I planted out early in the week. All that weird stuff that looks like sand is just fine vermiculite. I just don't want any gnats, I, any, you know, fungus gnats, which like to lay eggs in the wet soil. So I just kind of put a layer of vermiculite and let like, everything push through. So really, in just a week, almost a week, I think I did this on Tuesday. I don't know. I need to consult my notebook because although I did not label them, I did. Um, these things are kind of neat because they have letters in here. See, C, B, and A. And so I was able to kind of coordinate that with my notebook and wrote what's in there. And under here. Yet. Oh, there's a little something in that left corner. But yeah, this was a whole bunch of onions. 
I started a whole bunch of varieties of onions, so I am excited to try actual bulbing onions this year. So hopefully you guys subscribe and can follow on my journey because this is the first year that I'm doing onions and garlic and I will do sweet potatoes again. Um, the previous year that I did sweet potatoes, I did not get them in early enough, but when I pulled them all out, there were so many babies that I knew that if they had had the proper amount of time, I probably would have had a ton of sweet potatoes. So, and plus now that I figured that I can use my other greenhouse um, to cure everything, then I don't have to worry about having space to cure them since we did not have space in our garage. Anywho, moving on. Got my daikon. Doing their thing. Oh, that one fell over. But, like I said, I'm kind of finding that even they fall over, they kind of bend up and start growing again, so hopefully they'll be okay. These are the peas and beans and my uh, attempt with twine to work out some type of uh, support system for them. Um, but obviously, see, I didn't tie it off because I knew this was kind of crazy and I'll probably just have to undo all of it and start over. But um, I just wanted to kind of give them something to latch on to and yeah. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Isn't that pretty? I love that so much. My boss at work gave those both to me because she said anytime she goes any place and sees plant stuff she thinks of me so I kind of like that a lot. There's my Satsuma. It's still feeling kind of soft. So excited. It's just so slow. But patience. Patience is key. And there's my Owari. My Mewa. getting bigger. Look at the, the little blossoms on here. That is just so cool. And even new growth. And new growth up here too. Oh, that's so exciting. The flowers are gonna make this place, this space just smell so, so nice. Here's a leaf broccoli. Oh. Oh, something is munching. Okay, I will have to hunt that down. That's one of the things about checking everything daily, is you can catch stuff like that early. Ooh, get you to green up. You know what? I know you're technically not... Well, actually, I don't really know anything. Um, I heard that you really don't need to fertilize in the winter time, but... I was thinking about maybe just diluting some fish emulsion, seaweed, and spraying the leaves for just a little bit of fertilizer. I don't know. Do any of you do that in the winter time? If you do, please comment below and let me know. Or otherwise, maybe I'll do the recommended fertilize at half strength and just, you know, put it in with the watering can or something like that. But I don't know, I don't know enough about fertilizing. I kind of just have been using worm castings and the, the stuff that comes in the bag. So yeah, if any of you have experience with your citrus and fertilize them through the winter, because that's something I have not done yet, um, let me know. My Brussels sprout is just so pretty and it's just it's flourishing, it's been putting out new leaves, look at that. And it's just so pretty. I mean, purple, that's just the coolest thing ever. Carrots down here. I just think it's cool, I got carrots. And I'm actually gonna start some more in a bigger pot. And I got my Thai lime, which I baby, so I kind of, I put a towel around it to keep it a little extra warmth. And ooh, there's gonna be some more flowers blooming on here soon. Super excited about that. 
But anyways, I guess that's all I got going for right now. I am going to um, start seeds for some spinaches and these little seed starting trays here. And I will give you guys an update on where that's at next week. So hopefully, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will try to cut down my videos so they're not so, so long. I know that mine kind of run long, but I'm still new at this, so any tips and um, comments, I do enjoy them. It's been really fun reading them and responding to you guys, so I really appreciate the support, and I'm still a novice even though this is my third year, but I can use all the help that I can get, okay? So thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you next week. Bye.